today is Father's Day 2023, and it's the first Father's Day that we're going to be celebrating without my dad with us. And I just wanted to share a quick video uh, celebrating dads. Um, if you are a dad and you're watching this video, grab your wife, grab your children, because I think that it will be an enriching time for all of you and an encouragement for you dads. Um, my dad passed away March of this year, so it's been just a couple months that we've been without him. And uh, in celebrating uh, my dad during the memorial services that we had for him, uh, we mentioned a few areas of his life that um, we are so thankful to have had such a role model and an influence in our lives. And I just wanted to share with you these, these few points that I think that would be an encouragement to you dads. So the first one that I wanted to share was uh, my dad lived a life that honored God. He was um, a, a God-fearing man, and he knew that everything that he did um, was to please God. So he really embodied Colossians 3, 23, 24, which is um, to do everything as if you're doing for the Lord because it is from God that he received his reward. He was not interested in praises from his bosses or from other people, but he really was interested in honoring God with his work and with his relationships. So I want to encourage you, Dad, to really focus on understanding that um, your role as a dad and as a leader, you are imparting those skills to your children and your wife as, as well. She's watching you. And so when, when people are uh, impacted by who you are as a person, either as a leader or as a servant in their relationship with you, you are imparting that uh, knowledge that when you honor God, you can live a life that is fulfilling, that is honoring to God, and that uh, brings glory to Him. So I encourage you to keep on honoring God in everything that you do. The next thing that um, I watched my dad do and be was he loved his wife uh, with all of his heart. So when you love your bride and you give her your devotion, um, you bring a, a level of security to your children and to her that uh, will transcend generations. When we talk about my dad, we knew that my mom was his one and only gal, and that's who he loved. And when you do that, when you impart that, that obedience again in your life by loving your wife with everything that you have and providing and protecting for her, you bring that level and sense of security to your home, to your nucleus, and you become that leader of your children in that front as well. And the third thing that uh, we shared was how my dad served others. He was interested in making others feel welcome, feel loved, and feel important. So in every business transaction or friendship transaction that my dad um, every time my dad encountered somebody, he always wanted for that person to feel that they were important. And when you lead people in that way, when you make people understand that they are important in their own, in their own making, their own selves, uh, you honor God in those relationships. And so I want to encourage you, Dad, whether you be at work or uh, friendships or in your own family, when you follow God in those directives when you are obedient in those callings you leave a legacy uh, that will uh, be alive for generations people will remember you for being that person that honors God in their work in their family and in their relationship with others and then you will bring people to Jesus it will be a strong uh, force in transforming lives so I want to encourage you to keep working hard being the provider and the protector for your family wives uh, make sure that your home is that refuge and that nurturing place where your husband wants to come home to and children honor your dad by letting him know how much you appreciate him uh, for providing everything that you have because when he receives that recognition from you he'll go out and do it again and again and you will have that amazing opportunity to be an influence in your community and in the world that you live in. So congratulations, dads. Happy Father's Day. And keep at it. It's worth it.